I wanted to go for a bike ride, but this pouring rain outside and I really feel like it, so the book wrecks. Book wrecks. I'm gonna go by Vim. Uh, when it comes to sci-fi and fantasy, and particularly alien contact, we've got uh, contact, obviously. You may have seen the movie, it's a really good movie, and the book's really great too, and it expands a lot more. We have the story of your life, which was the basis of the fantastic movie Arrival. Then there's Everyone's an Alien, when you're an alien too. Johnny Sound, it came out this year, it's really cute, this is an alien. It comes to Earth to investigate humans, only it finds other aliens as well. And then we have the Wayfarer series which has two books so far, and it's a long way to a small angry planet and a close and common orbit. The two books are very different. The first one is, you know, a spaceship in deep orbit and political machination sometimes. It's like Carfly, I guess. The second one is an exploration of uh, alien cultures, of uh, gender, family. They're both really interesting, but they're totally different. Then on other sides I, ha I have two Star Wars books. One is Bloodline by Claudia Gray, which is the political side of Star Wars because it's all about Leia and exploring uh, the, the con conflict between the centuries and the populace. So it's very... It reminds me of Firefly, which is funny because Firefly was because of Star Wars. And I think that's what George wanted the prequels to be. The other one is Dawn of the Jedi. Don't remember who wrote it. But it's really cool because it's like pre 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 everything happened literally thousands of years before the Order of the Jedi was even founded, before the Republic, before anything. So it's a whole different thought. And then we have All the Birds in the Sky by Charlie Jane Andert, which is technomagic. It has a scientist and a witch, and then they meet as kids and they become friends, and then they. they it sort of tracks their parallel lives as they develop and as, as they end up becoming rivals. Okay. So th those were sci-fi recommendations. One book I was forgetting is Good Omens. It is literally one of my favorite books. It's a top ten. And if you've got a sense of humor, you can enjoy this book. It's like a great that I would give to anyone because it has a little bit of everything. And it's really funny. It's Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett. So... Take a look.